Hemos estado usando redes de, de arrastre principalmente de To conduct our inventories of fish species in the Amazon, we use drag net of 5 to 6 meters in length. These nets have different hole sizes, for example. In small streams, we use nets with small holes. We have also been using a gill net for dragging, mainly in the lakes and bigger rivers. In these sites that we have sampled, we have observed a variation in the diversity, mainly in the black water lakes in comparison with the bodies of water of white water. The diversity and abundance of fishes was greater in the black water than in the small white water streams inside the forest. But we really have not sampled many of the white water bodies of water. We have mainly worked on the clear and black ones. In our words, the Atlantic ecosystems. The Redondo Cocha and Lagarto Cocha sites were especially suited for the Bujurquis and the Tucunares. We found these species of fish in a juvenile state, approximately measuring 3 to 4 centimeters, which indicates that they are reproducing in these areas. For other important findings, I would say that in Lagarto Cocha, the fish species known as Paiche was much easier to observe. It is a species that is on the CITES list of endangered and threatened species. There aren't too many areas in Peru where the paiche is protected. If the Lagartococha site is converted into a park, it would be fantastic. One of the other areas that we thought would be excellent for conservation of these species was Yavari, but Yavari, up to this point since 2003, has no legal protection, not even as a reserve zone, meaning that it is open to exploitation of its natural resources. If this area gets declared as a reserve, and another portion if it gets declared as a park, it would be ideal for conservation of these species.